Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be showing you what I think is the best free video editor. It's called VSDC Video Editor and I've actually made a video on it like a couple years ago and it's one of my most viewed videos still. A lot of you guys had questions from the last video and a lot of you guys wanted a new updated video so I thought I would partner up with VSDC for this video actually to show you guys what's new. We're actually giving away 5 free pro versions of this video editor. All you have to do is comment what your favorite feature or thing about the video editor is after you watch the video. I'll be announcing the winners on my Twitter in a week. So yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So when it comes to free video editors, there's always limitations and I think VSDC is probably the only video editor out there that doesn't have limitations. What I mean by this is it doesn't have a time limit to how long the video can be. I know a lot of video editors, I think Wii Video um, has a limit like that. It doesn't have watermarks like Filmora, it doesn't have a trial period, and it doesn't have feature and format limitations. There is however a pro version that adds additional features if you want that, so it adds things like faster um, rendering with hardware acceleration. There's video masking, there's video stabilization, motion paths, and audio waveforms. Like There's some additional features if you want that, but if you don't need them, then the free version is fine and even the pro version is just $20 which is very competitive in pricing compared to other video editors I think Filmora is around the same it might be even more so in terms of pricing it's amazing when I was mentioning format limitations earlier you can literally use any codec or any file format for this editor you don't ever have to convert it like I know for um, Adobe Premiere Pro which I use personally you have to convert WMOV files into mp4 files so I would have to use a third-party application for this but with um, the VSDC you don't have to do that and one really big factor for a lot of people who are looking for a free editor is this has low system requirements meaning you can use a slower laptop or computer to run this application you don't need a you know thousand dollar laptop or computer like a lot of other editors I know Premiere Pro it's hard to run it on a slower computer so this is really big because people who can't afford editors probably can't afford you know really expensive laptops so if that's your case VSTC is probably a really good option for you on top of that there's actually a built-in screen recorder which I really like like I used to use Camtasia Studio Studio 8. That was my first video editor and it came with a screen recorder so I didn't really have to use third party software like OBS that I'm using now like you can see it on the taskbar right there. It's really good because you don't have to use any third party applications. You can just use one you know central hub like I was mentioning before about like file formats. If I want to convert files I have to use Handbrake which is a third party application. You can also see some of the other features so video effects right here. There's um, 4k support, 2k support, blending modes, masking tools, chroma keying so for green screens and such waveforms there's a bunch of stuff here you can see i have the pro edition so i can actually show you guys some of the different things you can do with the pro version compared to the free version but let's just get started with it because i've been doing a lot of talking so we're gonna make a blank project here and the, here are the project settings i'm gonna do full hd right here that's how my videos usually are i'm gonna press open and it's so right here this is the timeline this is how you add like different media so images audio video here's the info right here and some of the video effects so I'm just gonna import a video so let's just import a video of me and I'm just gonna go through some of the basics for you guys so you want to press ok so right here you can just press play so you can press spacebar or you can press the play button here to play what I would do first however is click on the video right here and press split to video and audio so you can see the audio as well and if you don't need the audio you can just delete it you can also see the preview quality so if you do have a slower laptop there is the ability to preview it in lower quality so it plays back a little bit smoother so you can see here the quality is decreased but it's playing pretty smoothly so I'm gonna add another video and I'm gonna show you what you can do with this um, in terms of some of the effects that not a lot of other editors have one thing is you can do a split screen meaning you can show two videos um, at the same time like side to side I know Premiere Pro it's hard to do this because you can't actually just move it like this um, so you can just literally line it up like this maybe make it smaller so they're like the same size like it's as easy as that to do a split screen you just move it um i've always tried to do this with premiere pro and there's a lot of issues in terms of that you can also do something called a text mask which is a really cool text effect where the video only appears in the text and nowhere else so if we press on the text tool right here and press ok drag the box just say we type steven right here let's make it like um 400 or maybe not 400 maybe something smaller and you want to use a 
a really thick font for this so maybe like 300 if you double click on the text right here and add a video what you can do is apply this effect so just add objects so let's add the video and it's gonna be me so it kind of fits for this you want to place the video over the text and all you want to do now is go to the composition mode and go to source in um, the video will appear right there so that's a really cool effect you can do what you can also do is do something called picture in picture where you can add a video within a video so similar to how reaction videos are I kind of showed you this earlier with the split screen but um, I'll show you again so say you have a video like this and it takes up the whole screen you can easily just add another video resize it and put it in like the bottom corner so like I said before like reaction videos do the same thing so press ok so all you have to do is just resize it right here put it in the corner and it'll play at the same time you can even click right here to view the preview um, in 144p or you can increase it like I showed before like 1080p you can click on it and it'll show in a bigger preview there's a lot of video editors where you can actually pop out the preview which I kind of get annoyed with I think Sony Vegas you could and that's why I liked it a lot but a lot of video editors you can do that and it's kind of bad because there's just a very small preview and you can only make it bigger within the program and what that does is it makes less space for like the timeline and such similar to what Premiere Pro does if you want to make it bigger the last thing I'm gonna show you is the chroma keying which is for green screens and such so I'm gonna just insert a video that I found on YouTube it's like a green screen basketball thing so let's search up green screen basketball press ok and so you can see right here it's just a basketball so all you want to do is you want to click on the video go to video effects go to transparency go to background remover and then press ok and what you can do is just select the color that you want to remove essentially so if you click on it you can see it just removes the background right there and you can adjust some of the settings so that the green is fully gone so if i just keep increasing this it should just disappear in some other values so you can see that the green is basically all gone and yeah that's about it for the video there's a bunch of other effects you can see like 3d and like special effects and transparency and transforms and filters and adjustments like there's a lot of stuff that you can do and it's very similar to a lot of the paid programs and the one thing i like about this is there's not a lot of restrictions you know like the additional features that you can get in the pro version are catered toward a certain audience so if you're just a basic video editor you probably won't even need it and this would be fine for you there's no limitations there's no watermarks the interface is pretty you know easy to use and yeah i'm just going to show you how to render it actually so you can just go to right here you can press on the logo and you literally just go to export project you can choose the formats right here you can choose what this is for like the pc for the internet you know for your iphone like i mentioned before there's unlimited amount of file formats that you can choose from you can select a preset right here and once you're done you just press export project and it should export so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out if it did hit that thumbs up button my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one